Hello amazing artist, this is Mr. D and for this video I'm going to show you how to make a crab out of geometric shapes. Now if you remember geometric shapes are man-made shapes that are perfect. So these are your basic shapes like circles, triangles, rectangles, squares, those types of shapes. Now you can see I've got a piece of paper and a sharpie but the only reason I have a sharpie is because it shows up better on the video. You will need a piece of paper and a pencil because there are going to be times you'll need to erase and we can't do that with a sharpie. And since we need to erase, remember when we draw with a pencil we draw light until it's right. We want to draw light so that when we need to erase it will completely make the pencil mark go away. If we draw dark the pencil mark will still stay there. So if everybody's ready to begin we're going to use a geometric shape called a circle. Well first actually we need to have our papers landscape which are side to side or horizontal but we're going to draw a circle that's not going to take up the entire page because we're going to give the, our crab some legs. So our circle is going to be sort of like this. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle but that is a geometric shape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to divide the circle in half and put a horizontal line down the middle. So find where you think the midpoints are and draw a horizontal line. Now after you draw that horizontal line we're going to erase this bottom curve. So you're going to use your pencil, your eraser, and I'm going to use some whiteout and we're just going to erase this curve at the bottom because we're only going to use the top half of the circle for our crab's body. So I've erased my bottom half of the circle and now we are ready to work on the crab's face. So we are for the eyes going to use the geometric shape known as the oval and I'm going to come right to about here, not in the middle, a little over to the left and create an oval eye. Now we're going to come over here and create another oval eye that's about the same size as the one that we just drew. So now we have our two eyes for our crab. But we want to also have a reflection in our eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little circle right here and a little circle right there. Those are both geometric shapes. And when we color or when you go back to color in the eye, you can color the oval but don't color in the circle and it will look like reflections. Now this is where you can decide whether to do this step or not. If you're just going to use pencil and you're not going to color in your crab, then you can do this step with me. However, at the end, if you're going to color with a colored pencil or crayon, you may want to wait on this step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and color in the oval and see how I'm going one direction the entire time. I'm going up and down. and then I'm making sure that I'm not going into the circle because I want it to stay blank. I'll do the same thing with this eye. I'm going to color up and down and color in only the oval not the circle because that's going to be our reflection. Now once I've done that we are going to give our crab a mouth which is just going to be half of an oval in the bottom half of the oval. So I'm going to go like this. So that's the bottom half of an oval which is a geometric shape. And now we're going to give our crab some eyebrows which is just going to be a curved diagonal line. So I'm going to go above this side, make a curved diagonal line and then above this side, curved diagonal line. 
Now we are going to work on the crab's legs, which are going to be made up of rectangles and triangles, which are both geometric shapes. So we're going to start down here near the bottom, and then we're going to go up. But each time we go up, the shapes are going to get a little bit smaller because they're going or they're getting farther away from us. So for the first leg, I'm going to draw a rectangle, just like that. And after I have that rectangle, I'm going to draw an, an upside down triangle, just like that. Next, I'm going to go up a little bit, but leave enough room for your triangle. And I'm going to make a smaller rectangle than the one I just made. Not super small, just a little bit smaller than the one I just made. And after I have that rectangle, I'm going to draw just a smaller triangle than the one I drew right there. And now we're going to draw the third leg, which is going to be the smallest, because it's the furthest away from us, or the farthest away from us. So I'm going to come up here, make an even smaller, the smallest rectangle of the three. And then I'm going to make the smallest triangle of the three. So there are my three crab legs for the right side. Now I'm going to go to the left side and do the same thing and a, try to do it in the same places. So I'm going to draw my first leg, which is going to be my largest rectangle. And after I draw that rectangle, I'm going to draw my largest triangle. Then I'm going to come up a little bit, leave enough room for my triangle to go. I'm going to create my next leg using a smaller rectangle and a smaller triangle. And then I'm going to come up a little bit more. And create my smallest rectangle and my smallest triangle. And now my crab has three legs on this side, three legs on this side. The last thing I need to add, and hopefully my whiteout is dry, I think it's almost dry now, are the pinchers to the crab. So right here in the front on this side, we're going to add a circle. And on this side, we're going to add a circle. My whiteout's causing my lines to go a little wavy, but that's okay. And inside of those circles, we're going to draw a triangle like this. And the base of the triangle is going to be curved. So triangle, triangle. My last step is I want to erase that curved line and that curved line so that it opens up my claws. So I'm going to take my white out, you're going to take your eraser, you're going to erase that curved line and this curved line, and we have our crab. Now if you want to add some background scenery behind your crab, then that is fine. You, would, you may want to add some sand, so I may do a mound of sand like this and a mound of sand right here and maybe a smaller mound of sand back here because it's farther away from us and two smaller mounds of sand right there and then some dots. Now we don't have to dot the entire page to make it look like sand. We can add just a few or a couple here and there and it will make it look like there's that the crab is standing on sand instead of like a grassy hill. But the farther up you go, the smaller your dots need to become because they're getting farther and farther away from us.
these dots down here are going to be the biggest dots. If you want to draw some seashells in the sand, then you can do that. If you want to draw a starfish, you can do that. Or if you just want it to be sand like this, then you can leave it like that. Now, if you're going to color with a crayon or a colored pencil, remember whenever you're outlining, use hard pressure. So let's say you're going to color your crab red. Using your red, you're going to press down hard to do the outlining. And then you're going to press down soft using soft pressure to color in your crab. Okay, that will just make the outline pop and stand out a little bit. Remember when we color, we color one direction the entire time. So if I start coloring my crab red by going up and down, then I need to color up and down the entire time. If I start coloring them going sideways, then I need to go side to side the entire time I'm coloring. If I start going diagonally, I need to color my crab diagonally the entire time. Okay? So I hope you have a great time coloring. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And goodbye.